Hello and welcome to this video on the volume of a cylinder. Now in a previous video we saw how we could find the volume of a prism and remember a prism just meant some 3D shape that wherever you chopped it you would see the same cross section and you remember that the volume of a prism was equal to the area of the cross section multiplied by the length. Now if we apply that to a cylinder like this, we want the area of the cross section. Well, we can see that is a circle. And what's the area of the circle? It's just pi r squared. And then we're timesing it by the length. Well, this is the length here, in this case the height, and that is h. So therefore, the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. And we can apply that to these various problems we have here. So we want to determine the volume of this cylinder here. So we've got the volume is equal to pi times by the radius squared. Now the radius in this case is 3 centimetres. This is times by 3 squared times by the height, which in this case is the length. That is 20. And then if we simplify that, that gives us 180 pi, if you were to type that into your calculator. And then if we wanted that as a decimal, 180 pi is equal to 565.4, and because it's in centimetres, the volume will be centimetres cubed. What about the second problem? So we want to determine the capacity of this cylinder in litres. Now let's just work out the volume in centimetres cubed first. So we've got the volume is equal to pi times by the radius squared. So the radius here is 8. So we do pi times 8 squared times by the height, which is 5, and that is equal to 1,005.3 centimetres cubed, because these are in centimetres. Now to convert it to litres, you just need to know that 1,000 centimetres cubed is equal to 1 litre. So to get from centimetres cubed to litres, we just divide by 1,000. So dividing this by 1,000, we get 1.0053 litres. What about question three? We're told the volume this time. So we're told the volume of this cylinder is 250 metres squared. And we want to find this height here. So let's find the volume the usual way. The volume is pi times r squared times by the height, which is h, and we're told that is equal to 250. And then if we want to just find h on its own, we need to divide by that 4 squared and the pi. So h is just 250 divided by pi times 4 squared. And if we put that on our calculator, we get 4.97 metres. Right, what about the next one? A block of unobtainium is melted down and reformed into a new cylinder, as shown. So that is melted down to form this. What is the new radius? Well, if it's melted down, the volume is going to be the same before and after. So let's find the volume before. The volume is going to be pi times the radius squared, so 5 squared, times by the height, which is 3. And that is equal to the new volume, which is pi times the radius squared, we don't know the radius, so let's just use r, r squared, times by the height, which is 6, and we just need to solve to find r squared. Now I note that we could divide both sides of the equation by pi. So we do that, we've got 5 squared times 3 left, which is 75, and that is equal to, well the pi is gone because we divided by pi, we've got 6 r squared. If we divide both sides by 6, we get r squared is equal to 25 over 2, and that means r is equal to, as a decimal, 3.54 centimetres. And then finally, we've got question 5. The volume is 324 pi, determine x. And then we've got these algebraic sides this time. So we've got a radius of 2x, and we've got a height of 3x. So let's do the usual thing. The volume of this is going to be pi times by the radius squared, so 2x squared. And notice I'm using brackets here because I want all of 2x squared. If I didn't have the brackets, it would only be the x that's been squared, but we want all of 2x squared. So it's pi times the radius squared times by the height of 3x, and we're told that volume is 324 pi. 
Now let's just try and simplify things a bit. Well, we can first divide both sides by pi, so I'm just going to cross out those pi's. And then 2x all squared, 2x times 2x is 4x squared, not 2x squared. And if we simplify this further, well, 4 times 3 is 12, x squared times x is x cubed. Now, x is being cubed, and then you're multiplying it by 12, so let's divide both sides by 12. 3, 2, 4 divided by 12 is 27. X cubed is 27. All this looks promising because 27 is a cubed number. And then we cube root both sides to get rid of that cubed, and we find that x is equal to 3.